Howdy, howdy, folks. Once again, this is Donnie. And a while back, I created a video about how to edit a service file on a systemd system in order to modify the behavior of that service. And in that video, which, by the way, if you haven't seen it, don't worry about it because I'm going to go over the information again in this video anyway. But what I did was I showed you to go into the USR lib systemd system directory and to edit the file that's in there. Well, those are the original systemd service files. And I should have been thinking at the time that, yeah, that doesn't really sound right. But the reason I told you that is because at the time I was reading the documentation for systemd, the, the official documentation from Red Hat, that's what they said to do. So I said, okay, sounds kind of strange, but yeah, we'll do it. We'll go with it, right? Well, anyway, an alert viewer who goes by the handle Quasi84, so I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, but anyway, whichever the case doesn't matter, still, hey, Quasi84, giving you a shout out. <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, this person sent me the message saying, hey, don't edit this file directly because you can create drop-in files which will override or add options. And if you do that, they'll stay even if the package manager overwrites the service file when you update the service, which you might want to do every now and then. Well, okay, that makes sense, right? And he says, even if you don't do the updates, you can get a better overview of what you've changed. So, yeah, I mean, what he, what he says there makes perfect sense. And as I said, the reason I did the video as, uh, the way I did it was because it, it kind of reflected what was in the Red Hat documentation. So then he comes down and says, hey, use systemctl edit instead, add the things you want, and in this case, just create that service section, and then add in the line that I want to add, and then do a daemon reload. And then we can do a systemctl cat httpd and see the override is right there, and it can't be discarded if you ever update the service for security reasons, if I ever do a system update, in other words. So, and then come down here, and he says, actually, what will happen is when I do the systemctl edit, it will make a directory down here in Etsy systemd system directory. It'll make this directory called httpd.service.d, and I can put as many files in there as I want, which will override whatever I want without touching the original file. And then if I ever want to write a systemd unit file, just place that in the Etsy systemd system directory. So, yeah, I mean, it makes perfect sense of what he says. And so, anyway, I went ahead and checked it out, did some research. Well, first off, this systemctl edit, I had never heard of. And I kind of wondered why, so I did some research. And I found out that this edit feature to systemctl was not added until... Red Hat 7.2, which came out in February of 2016. So it had been out for a long time by the time I made that first video, and I didn't even realize it, right? So anyway, I figured, well, I'll give it a try here, and we'll see what happens. So anyway, I did this, did systemctl edit, httpd, and it comes up with a blank screen. And what you're supposed to do here is just put the section, like in this case, I was editing the service section of that httpd.service file. And so I could just put that in there and then put my line in and it would have made that, that extra module to go into that Etsy directory. But I said, well, you know what? I'm going to try something else instead. So after reading through the man page for systemctl, I found this dash dash full option. And so with that, it'll pull up the entire file and it'll save an entire new copy of the file instead of just saving an add in module. So I figured I'd try that and I came up with this. So what I did then, I just went ahead and edited that. I put the restart equals always in the service section the way I did before in the previous video, except this time now I'm making a copy. 
And so when I saved that, then I could go into the Etsy systemd system directory, and you're going to see right here, there is my HTTPD service file right there, the one that I just created. But then down here, this is the HTTP.service.d. Now this, there's actually nothing in there, but that got created when I pulled up the systemctl edit without the dash dash full option. And even though I did not actually do any edits, when I went and got out of that editor, it still created this httpd.service.d directory. But anyway, this is what I just created. And so that is what contains my edit, just the httpd.service file itself. And so then after I do the edit, I do the systemctl daemon reload. And so I see now when I check the status of my Apache web server daemon, you see that it's running, it is active, everything looks good. But then I went ahead and crashed it. I did a kill all HTTPD up here at the top, as you can see, and check the status again. You see that, that it is exited, status failure, but that it is trying to recover. And finally, it did recover, and we're back running again. So everything looks good, right? And that's all there is to it. So, as I say, that's the gist of the video that I presented before, except I've made the correction now. We're now making the edits in the correct place. We're now editing the service file correctly instead of editing the original one in the USR lib directory. So, anyway, that's all I got for now. So if you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.